You might not think of Cornell University as a place that would have a problem with an overpopulation of deer. But as you look around, you see that Cornell is in the middle of the city of Ithaca, which is surrounded by farmland. Much of that farmland is owned by Cornell itself for agricultural research and development. Such areas, along with nature trails and parkland, attract deer like magnets. For the past two years, Cornell has obtained nuisance deer control permits from the State Department of Environmental Conservation. From February 1st through March 31st, Cornell has eradicated deer through the use of archers and a device called a clover trap. But many people in and around Cornell oppose the deer management effort. We feel like we're speaking for a lot of people who don't want our community to be an open-air slaughterhouse. James Levesque is a documentary film producer and an animal rights advocate. He has sponsored an online petition drive urging Cornell to end the use of lethal means to control the campus deer population. 1,500 people have signed the petition since Sunday. His organization, CayugaDeer.org, has included a YouTube video depicting the capture of a deer in a clover trap. Levesque says once the animal is subdued, its captors will kill it by shooting a metal bolt through its brain. The DEC has an agenda and that the Cornell Department of Natural Resources serves that agenda. And they have an interest in carrying out these kind of programs, documenting them, and then using that to mainstream this approach all across our state. Cornell issued a statement that the deer management program is essential to protect agricultural research, protect the health and safety of faculty, staff, and students, and protect rural and suburban neighbors. Researchers use collapsible clover traps to humanely capture and then euthanize deer. The statement says the meat is donated for human consumption. Reporting from Ithaca, I'm Jim Kenyon.